new ranking factors that you should be aware of and looked at how this affect your marketing overall. So if you do not have Google Analytics installed on your website, I highly, highly recommend you do that. I believe most people do by now, but if you have not done so yet, put a note and get Google Analytics on your website. What it does is it helps you understand where people come from, how they find you, who they are, what are some of the things that action they do on your website. What they do on your website can be different, how you calculate that, how you measure that. Of course, we, we do have ways to measure what is it that they do next after they get to our website. But it's very, very important to at least have the Google Analytics installed on your website so that you can have a basic reporting tools available to you to look at and understand how you can serve the user better. How does scrolling on your website affect the user journey, the user experience? The information, when people get to your website, there should be no ambiguity about it. When they get to your website, if you, for example, a boot dealer, if you're selling specific things or use an accessory, it should be very, very straightforward to the user that you are a boot dealer, you are a marina, you are, I don't know, a boot repair shop, whatever the service or product that you are trying to sell, remove the doubt, the visitor's mind. This is who we are. This is what we do. And how can we help you? Book here now, or let's talk now, make a reservation now, or see all of our inventories now, or book your next fun day on our rental space. So how long the user lasts on the page become very, very critical. And this is something that Google measure as well. And not only Google measure that through our Google Analytics, but also it's also with you for that same thing. So if you have a lot of users, a variation of users, customers that is, visit your website and they stay on the home page for X amount of time. Let's say like the average time is five minutes and one page, then there must be something that is good on this page. You might want to look at that specific page and how you can optimize that page or that section of your website to increase the rate. The next thing you want to look at is the balance rate. Balance rate is really means that when people come to you, that page or that section on your website, how fast do they run away from that page? If you have a page right now on your website, if you have Google Analytics, you can actually look at your current balance rate and you can look at balance rate per page. Take a look at some of the pages that have the highest balance rate. And if the balance rate is very, very high, that's something you might want to look at. Want to optimize the content, the imagery, the information flow, and also even the speed for that web page. That can really deter people. If it's very slow, according to Google, the user, 67% of the time, they leave your website if it takes more than three seconds to load for them to see the basic information on the homepage. So that's very critical. And this is why hosting is so important. One of the factors you want to look at is number of citations. Citation really means the those different directories that's very, very critical with, that you want to have your website listed and them that with the correct information. In addition to that, reviews are extremely, extremely important. If you have a system in place, you want to make sure you get as many reviews as you can, especially the happy customers. Make sure you get a system that Basically, as soon as a customer walk out of your door, buy something from you, whether it's online or physical, just thank them and say, hey, we're going to send you a quick note on, to give us a review. We'd love to hear back from you. And you can automate that whole process to simply click a button that says, this is a happy customer, and that email will go out to whoever the customer's name is. And that quick message can continue to remind that customer until he or she actually give you a review. And review is super important. It's not just Google reviews. Google reviews, obviously, it, it carries a lot of weight when it comes to Google Maps, how you went there. But also, yep, review is important. Facebook reviews are important. So make sure you get all those things set up so that you can get those reviews lined up because those are very good signal that help strengthen your SEO presence online.